Hey guys, it's me, Panzer6, and today I am going to do a Let's Talk because I haven't done one of these in a while. I think the last time I did one, this was about a month ago, when I talked about faith, and I don't think I touched one ever since. And I used to be really good at doing these. I usually try to do one once a week. But um, I've been trying to actually concentrate more on you know the gaming side um, and try to do some funny things, try different things like... The little skits, the, like the live Skype, the Donald Trump thing, the, and I just want to see what works. I just want to see, you know, what people like, what people don't like, and I think that's normal for somebody who's just starting out on YouTube, uh, just trying to get to your audience. And whenever you start a YouTube channel, um, you'll start noticing things. I think I have almost 300 videos that I've done in almost a span of a year, and you start noticing that you know as YouTube gets bigger and bigger it's almost like this is a good analogy I think I think I came up with it it might be stupid but trying to get your channel noticed is almost like being on top of the tallest mountain with a megaphone with a million other people standing at the same exact spot with the same megaphone and it really makes your voice hard to get out there and you know you have all these websites forums reddit and facebook twitter and you know some of these things they don't let you do self-promotion and self-promotion is a good thing and it's a bad thing and i do agree um you know i've tried self-promotion on reddit i have my own subreddit and i've tried doing it on you know twitter by tweeting out to my favorite uh <laughs> youtube stars because or some of them that I have, I think my content is almost kind of like theirs. And, you know, it's really, really hard to get any type of attention or notice. And um, I've also noticed that with my GoFundMe account where I'm trying to do the bits and pieces thing. Uh, recently, I, I did a change of channel names for the third time. Um, used to be Outright Gaming. And I changed it to bits and pieces come together because my my dream as of right now my goal is to hopefully open a shop here soon um you know i moved out of ohio uh me and my fiance to start things new um i just now got a job uh the job that i really really wanted did not work out because um they just didn't hire me and that's been a really big bummer um you know it, it does hurt quite a bit because I really wanted a job for quite a few years but the job I got is a job um, so I won't I won't tell you where I'm working because I don't really I don't know if you guys will judge me for it but it's, it's a job to me it's it works and it pays okay it's gonna get us get uh, our bills paid and food on the table um, but I'm hoping that this thing takes off. You know, I've been trying my hardest. Um, I tweet out to uh, all these gaming companies. I email all these people. I post on Facebook. I post on Twitter. I post on Pinterest. Um, I haven't posted on Instagram or Snapchat because, quite frankly, I don't like Snapchat. And uh, Instagram I barely use. And, you know... Social media is really nice. It's really nice. It does help some things. You know, up to right now on the GoFundMe account, uh, we're up to $30, which is three donations, which that's awesome. And I am so thankful for everybody that's donated. And, you know, I I don't want you guys to feel obligated to do anything like that. I don't want you to feel obligated to donate. Um, but if you want to, if you can... Um, share just share it uh, just help me try it. if you're watching this today for the first time and you're just like who is this fat neck beard talking to me um i want you to know what i'm wanting to do bits and pieces come together is something that i've been thinking about for a little while i've always wanted to open up a business i've always wanted to do that whenever you know i was in college me and a bunch of my friends <laughs> we wanted to open up a store was going to call it Task Lab 2 because we used to work at the Ohio University and they had a thing called the Task Lab. And I worked there and it was like a graphics um, 
print shop type of thing and it was just for the university you could work there as like work study but you got paid for it but um <laughs> we wanted to do that but nothing really really developed outside of just talking about it and you know me and my fiance was sitting down one day we was just trying to th figure out names and everything and the bits and pieces it i i think it represents um you know a lot of different things a i'm a nerd there's a bunch of nerds that love different things movies video games card games board games you know tv shows whatever different types of people religion sex gender race you know whatever so bits and pieces kind of represents everyone as a whole and the come together part is everybody's welcome now that's not the only thing bits and pieces represents bits and pieces is also something that's going to help out people that suffer from things like anxiety depression abuse um, suicide um, you know not being able to eat have money to eat or anything like that these people will need to get as much help as possible um, you know I've had a few people in my life that's committed took their lives and we had somebody uh, it's been maybe a few months ago he took his life and I was you know me and my fiance was pretty devastated about it because just under the circumstances and and I've been there before I've been if you look back on one of my older let's talks when I talked about suicide I told you guys exactly you know I've been that low I know I know exactly where you know how that works it sucks it really does and you know and sometimes you think that's the best way for me to get out of this mess is to that I mean it, it, it's it sucks it really does and um, you know it is a coward's way out but you know the bits and pieces thing if this ever comes to fruition if it works out if say if we get funding and things get growing it gets bigger and bigger and bigger we'll be able to help these people it'll be a haven for kids or any age group anybody that wants to come in wants to hang out with people that suffer from the same thing or just play games watch movies um, eventually we'd like to open up some kind of thing where you can get some food and maybe open to some kind of charity events um, bits and pieces is not just about that but that's one of the central focuses um, we'd be playing games like Magic the Gathering uh, that's something I love I love Magic the Gathering I used to hate it honestly honestly almost a year ago it might have been a year ago maybe a year and a half I was the guy that was like, yeah, I'm not going to watch those nerds play magic cards. It's gay. And I'm sorry I said that, but that's how I was when I was younger. That, about a year ago. It's not younger. 27, 26. And now I play magic. And you know what? Magic the Gathering is really fun. Um, I, I've got a lot of friends from magic. The Goblin Traders, I, they're almost like brothers to me. And I miss them very much. And the reason why I want to open up something like that, because there's nothing in this area. If you want to drive 45 minutes away, uh, there's some source that do magic, that do board games, or just play games, or just hang out. There's nothing here like that. And, you know, there's a bunch of young people that could use that kind of thing. You don't have to drive 45 minutes out of the way to a store that may only be open for four hours. Um, and it would be a nice place. It'd be, I think it would be great. And, you know, I've went out and I pass out flyers uh, to different places um, around the area. Um, and I'm planning on doing more. I do a lot of social media um, as much as I can with it. And, you know, I really want it to take off. I really do. It's something I really, really want to happen. Um, and like I said, those that have shared, those that even considered it, I thank you. I thank you to the bottom of my heart. I really, really, really appreciate it. And, you know, it's, that's something I wanted to talk about. I, I wanted to give more insight to what bits and pieces represents 
instead of, hey, this fat neck beard wants to make money to open up a game store. That's not at all, not at all what it's really about. I mean, it's part of it, but it's, you know, it's deeper than that. It's a whole lot deeper. In Ironton, Ohio, you know, I had that place to go to. You know, I got to hang out with people that were just like me, and it was awesome. Here, we don't have that, um, which is kind of sucks because, you know, I'm sure a lot of kids would like that. And you don't even have to be a kid. And this wouldn't be just, like, be for, you know, people in this area. It could be for anybody. They're just visiting, visiting, coming around. Who knows, maybe if this thing takes off, there could be more stores just like it. Or it could be one convention. That would be amazing. That would be flipping amazing. And I hope it happens. I really do. I really do. Um, and if you are watching this, just go, go over, check it out. It's www.gofundme.com forward slash bits and pieces. Uh, you can check it out. If you don't want to donate, you don't have to donate. But please, please share it on your social networks, uh, Facebook, whatever you want to. That would be really amazing and really help me out. And if you do donate, I appreciate it. Um, even if it's a dollar, that's awesome. Every bit counts. Um, and the number is quite, quite big, $10,000. That's quite a big number. And the reason why that number is there is just say if we can get the funding. Some, some um, banks, they require a good faith uh, amount of money to have. The more you have, the better chances you have to get funding for it. And the money would also go to things for, you know, getting things set up. And after that, you know, once everything's set up and we start making money, bringing stuff in, then we'll be able to help more and more people. And like I said, it's not just card games. It's video games, video game tournaments. You know, rather, if we had LAN parties PC, if you guys wanted to have, you know, things just PC, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, whatever, we could do that kind of stuff. We'd set that up. We'd also have pay-per-view events like uh, WrestleMania. That's awesome. UFC, that's okay. <laughs> and we'd also have movie nights. That's some some stuff we'd like to do. That's just I, I think would be great. I'd be I, I hope it does take off. Um, so since we're off, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off that topic and jump onto a new topic. And the new topic is faith. You're probably thinking you just did a video about faith a month ago. Why are you doing another one? It's like, well, there's a big reason for that. Um, you know, I I started going to church. It's about a month ago, and, you know, at that point, I thought things were just going to crumble, fall apart. Things weren't working out. Um, things were just, you know, I couldn't find a job. I just recently got a job, uh, and I start, I have the orientation tomorrow. Um, <coughs> you know, we, like, some crazy stuff would happen. You know, a car would break down, have to spend money on tires. Um, this, that, this, that, this, that, and things start getting better. So, you know, I went to church, and then I end up getting saved. And I started noticing all these awesome things. And, you know, it, it, it's really, I, I can't deny that it, it felt good at the time. But I spent the last 10 years of my life, after my grandpa died, not going to church. I didn't want to be a part of it anymore. Uh, when you're in college and you get surrounded, you get new ideas, you get new perspectives, you learn things, and then you start looking out on your own. And, you know, <laughs> the things I learned, as, you know, as an atheist or as in college, um, they quite contra contradict of what, I'm trying to get myself completely on board with. And it's really, really hard. And, you know, I, I spoke to a little bit. I brought it up to my pastor, which he's an awesome guy. I love it. And it breaks my heart because I really, really want this to work out, but I don't know if it will. Um, it's just really, I, I just can't bring myself to fully commit. It's really, really hard. It's really, really hard to do it. 
I thought I would be able to, you know, <coughs> press through it and, you know, as a Christian and devote everything to it, but it's just so hard to do. Um, you know, I, I question, question it every day, you know, <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try, I'm going to try to make it work a little bit. And I do apologize too. Uh, the glasses, the glare is probably offsetting, probably really annoying. Um, I'll work on that. Um, my head's hurting and I usually don't wear the glasses whenever I do the videos just because of the glare, but I'm going to try to get that fixed. <clears throat> But, um, yeah, the faith thing's been really, really picking at me. It's just, phew. you know, I talk to my fiance about it, and, you know, she doesn't want me to steer away from it. And I don't, I don't necessarily want to, but I could see it happening um, every day. Every day I, I just question it. And I'm just like, man, I don't know. I don't know. There's things I still believe in as an atheist, um, but you can't believe in in the Bible. You know, I have gay friends. I, you know, gay people are awesome. I have friends that, you know, are mixed race. That's fine with me. There's some things in the Bible that, you know, most people as a Christian don't believe in gay marriage. I, I'm perfectly fine with gay marriage. And there's a lot of um, hypocrisies. There's corruption. But that's anything, though. Church, you know, religion has always been... It's, it's really, 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 really hard to, like, if you take a look at history and everything, religion is always the forefront of wars for the most part. And you're probably thinking, you're stupid. You're really stupid. I'm sorry, I do apologize, and I hope I'm not offending you. But that's just how I feel right now. It's just really hard to, you know, commit to it. I got one last thing to talk about, then we'll cut this off, and tomorrow I'll try to make another video via the game feed, and I'm going to try to do some more stuff. And like I said the last video, I have a big announcement to make. Be right mid-May around my birthday. We'll talk about that more as time goes. I may try to get hints, give hints, give more hints, and more hints, and more hints, and more hints, but I'm not going to talk about it right now. So that was a hint. Things to come, things to come. So... Uh, as you guys may or may not know, I recently finally got a job. Tomorrow is my orientation, which I'm really, really happy about. I'm really happy to have a job. Um, it's not the job that I necessarily expected to be in, but I'm really thankful for it, um, nevertheless. Um, <clears throat> I won't say where it is because I don't want to give that information out. But let's just say it's a major, major chain uh, <coughs> that sells stuff. And the thing I'm going to be doing is unloading. I'm a big guy. I could use the exercise. So <laughs> whenever I start this job and start the unloading thing, that's when I'm going to start the diet. So maybe this time next year when I make a video on Let's Talk, I'll look like the mountain or something like that, a less fat mountain less, well, tiny mountain, would you, they would just call me the hill, so I wouldn't be the mountain, I'd be the, be the hill, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm really happy about the job, um, things have been kind of, like, things have been getting good, um, we've been doing okay for bills, but this is going to help us more, and I, I can see that working, um, and also, another thing, since I'm still on I, I, this is almost 20 minutes, almost 20 minutes of a video, um, <laughs> but I want to go ahead and say, um, I had a stream the other night, the first time I streamed in almost, man, it's almost been six months, I guarantee it, and, you know, I had some people come in and watch it, and I got to do, do this stream, and it was awesome, and I'm really happy that the guys, you guys, that, you know, follow me on Twitch, you guys are still there. I think we're sitting at 207 uh, followers on Twitch, uh, 131 here on YouTube, and that's fine. That's fine. I'm hoping things grow. So, guys, um, so at this 20-minute mark coming up, if you don't care, if you're just coming in here and you're like, 
man, this fat beard is actually interesting. Um, <laughs> maybe I should subscribe to him. Feel free, hit like, hit subscribe. Um, I'm going to work on my uh, editing, maybe, maybe just a little bit, because if you notice, I do use a lot of ums and uhs and uhs and ahs. And I'm going to try to get rid of that stuff. I'm going to start editing more, make it more fluent, so that way you guys don't have to listen to that. But I, I mean, I do like to have, you know, conversations. I feel as if I edit it with that, it's you're just getting snippets of me. You're not getting the full me. But then again, you might think the full me is really, really boring and may have a speech impediment. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much for stopping by um, and hanging out for 20 minutes. Uh, 21 to be exact. Um, again, go to www.gofundme.com forward slash bits and pieces. Check it out. You don't have to donate, but if you want to share it, share it. I would highly appreciate it. And also, be sure to hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you later this week with some more content. Love you guys, and I will see you soon.